Hello, Alex from Trainer Day here. I'm going to go a little de bit deeper into W prime balance and how it works. So I've got an example workout here. You can see it's 60 minutes at 100%, which is basically an impossible workout for everybody that's got their FTP set correctly, or nobody would be willing to ever do this or try to do this. Anyway, what you can see here is you can see this red dotted line and that is my W prime balance or, rem or my remaining energy. And this is like a gas tank since it's at the top, your gas tank is completely full. You're not draining your anaerobic energy. Now, in reality, you are at 100%. You probably are a little bit, but as the model goes, you're not. So my point is that this is not designed for measuring your aerobic difficulty or how hard a workout is. It's only to measure how much anaerob remaining anaerobic energy you have. So we can take another workout. This is uh, under overs, and you can see that even then, even though it does go a little bit over your FTP and is using a little bit anaerobic, it's still not a good indicator of how hard this is. This is actually still very hard, and you wouldn't notice that. So, so let's go to an, a more of an anaerobic workout. So here we've got an anaerobic workout that goes up to, let's say, a 150% of your, you know, of your FTP, this is a Tabata style workout. And so this is 40 seconds of work with 20 seconds of rest. And so this is where W prime bow really works is for these higher intensity interval training, right? And, or, or just anything that's noticeably above your FTP. And then you can see, you know, you have this little warm up here and it drops a little bit, but it almost recovers completely. But then it drops down perfectly, right? Meaning it's dropping down. And so by the end of this fourth interval, you should be completely drained. But this is designed for a person with 193 watt, you know, uh, FTP or critical power and a 14 kilojoule W prime. If this is not you, let's just say you have a 300 watt FTP at a 14 watt kilojoule. Now this workout is incredibly hard. You will, you will, it, you can't even finish the third uh, repetition of this, right? Because it's too hard for you. Now, if your, you know, kilojoules are higher, let's say 20, again, then it's perfect for you. And so it, it totally depends on what your actual FTP are and how many kilojoules you have, right? Or how, how your W prime balance, your W prime, is it, you know, how many kilojoules do you have in your W prime? So let's just say that you, you know, have a 20 kilojoule, 200 watt, let's just do 200 watt and 20 kilojoules. Now this is an easy workout for you. It's or moderately easy, it's not too hard. So what do you do? You make it harder, right? So, so maybe you need 160%, right? Or 165, right? So then you can see now it's getting close to failure again. So you adjust your workouts to make them so that you're getting close to failure, right? You know, uh, you don't have to go all the way to failure right? So, you know, what you may want to do and, and what um, Mark from Golden Cheetah recommended to me is that you may want, you know, you may be a rider that going to failure is fine. You like FTP tests, you like going as hard and you like hitting the end. Other riders don't like that so much. <laughs> and so you may want to do more reps. Let's just, let's add a rep in here. I'm going to move this one down a row and I'm going to add another rep like this. And it, and I'm going to make this just one of these. Uh, and I'm going to lower the intensity in this one, 150. Oops. So 160 and 140. 130. So, so now you can see we actually have two close to failure points, but not complete failure. So your motivation level might be higher to to get too close to failures than rather than one total failure. 
So you, you want to kind of play around with this and see what's better for you. Too close to failures might produce better results or similar results as one total failure and it mentally might be easier and less challenging for you. So you want to find out what works for you and you want to optimize it and ultimately go try this workout. Go try this four intervals. You know, let me refresh the page. Let's just say it's this workout, uh, 20, let's change it back to 14. You know, get it optimized for you. Go close to failure and see, can you go, could you have gone farther? Could I do more than these four? You know, was it too hard for me? If if it's too hard, then your this your W prime is probably a little bit too high, right? It's possible your, your FTP or critical power is off also, but let's just say you have an established critical power, you feel comfortable that it's your or your FTP that it's 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 correct or close to correct then probably your w prime is a little bit off right if you can't finish this or if it's too easy so so you want to adjust that and and the next time you can make it a little bit harder anyway this is the value of w prime i and or w prime bal and ultimately you know hard anaerobic workouts for a lot of people are not the most important thing or for most people i would say you know, you're really more focused on your aerobic workouts. So something like this. And so if you're focused on your aerobic workouts, which you should be and most of the time, then 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 W prime bal isn't such a, a useful feature, right? Then it's more about intensity factor. You know, how hard do you want to ride? You know, there's different theories. Some people like these threshold, you know, let's say sweet spot or threshold level rides. Uh, others feel that, you know, other styles of training are more important. Um, anyway, uh, if you're short on time, a lot of people feel that these, these Tabata style workouts are actually, you know, a 30 minute workout can give you a lot of, let's say, boost even to your aerobic power, even though you're doing an anaerobic workout in a very short amount of time. So anyway, thank you very much. That's it.